Whatever you're doing right now, stop and really take notice of what you can smell. Is it dinner on the stove? Maybe your wife's perfume, freshly cut flowers? Welcome to the project. What if I told you that simple act might have just helped you ward off everything from depression to dementia? When I walk across the street and I smell uh, Vietnamese food, it reminds me of my grandma. Fresh paint reminds me of moving into a new home with all of my family. Couscous that we make um, back at home in Morocco. The ability for scents to trigger memories has long been proven, but the link doesn't stop there. It turns out a declining sense of smell could be indicative of mental deterioration. So the nose um, basically has nerve circuits, some would call it the superhighway uh, to the brain, that goes straight to those regions of the brain important in memory and learning. So that's why the link is so strong. That's where smell training comes in, a form of therapy which involves training a patient's nose through regular exposure to a range of odours in order to improve their ability to correctly identify and differentiate between scents. Exposing people to, to simple odours like eucalyptus and citrus and doing that twice a day over a period of several months is really the, the basic level of smell training. Studies have shown this method has led to a decrease in symptoms for seniors suffering with depression and improved the cognitive abilities of dementia patients, helping them recall words better than brain training apps. What we're trying to do is get people to practice not by simply smelling things, but by remembering them and identifying them and trying to discriminate between them. We found that they don't only get better with smell memory, but they also get better with visual memory. But even if you haven't been diagnosed with any such conditions, there are still merits to testing your nose to see how much it knows. We hope that if we can train people's sense of smell, it can help them sustain their, their memory more broadly, hopefully reduce their risk of dementia. So is sharpening your brain as simple as stopping to smell the roses? We are live from the lands of the Kula Nation where it's a big hello to our beautiful smelling Miff Warhurst. <laughs> You smell gorgeous. I can't smell Thank you, Thank you. I wash my hair. Oh. <laughs> what, 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 what smell do you love? Goodness me, I actually love the smell of horses. What? Oh, I know, on. it's weird, but it's um, it's something from childhood, oh, hanging around yeah. horses in a paddock. When you put a horse's nose on you and they breathe on you and that you, just that you put smell the nose, of grass. You put the horse's nose on you? Your nose and their nose together. You it's a like... beautiful moment. It's a bonding moment and there's a... Smell. It reminds you of home, though, and yeah, childhood. childhood. That's childhood. so interesting. And it takes you back smell, right? It really does. Yeah. It really so does. you're saying horse breath, basically, horse breath. is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, horse boogers, all of that. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I, would have, I would have said cut grass, but yeah, sure. Cut grass. Yeah. I like the smell of this studio. It smells like news delivered differently. Oh, oh. <laughs> Very good. I love gardenias because they, they were blooming when I brought both my babies home. They're both oh. December babies. So every time oh. I smell them, this heaven wattle reminds me of my grandmother. Oh, as oh, well. Yeah, um, yeah, they're really nice smells. If you are interested baby's in the... Breath. Baby's breath, of course. Baby's actual everything smells baby's great. breath. Until yeah. I eat solids, oh, I thought you not. meant yeah. the stuff in the hair. I had that when I did my Deb in 1988. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, this is all nice reminiscing, but if yes. you want the health benefits of it, I always yeah. do, then I'm afraid it's a diff very different picture. Oh, what different. you really should be smelling are farts. And I'm, uh, I'm not... <laughs> Who is your own? Any, apparently. I'm what not, are you I'm not making about? this up. So they've done experiments on this. <laughs> Uh, they did experiments in mice and they found that foul smelling gas might, smelling that might help protect the age brain cells. No. Against, I'm not joking. Yeah. It can help present so, certain diseases such as kidney disease, dementia, and more. Get to it, Sam. <laughs> Dutch ovens for dementia. <laughs> well, I can already see the t shirts right now. Yeah. <laughs>